Hello we will talk about Lesson 7 Data Collection, Analysis, and Graphic Presentation First, Methods of Data Collection There are many ways you can collect data from different sources, the most popular ones include 1. Books and articles, digital or printed 2. Opinion polls 3. Records and reports 4. Experiments Second, Data Analysis This step review the data you collected after you finish analyzing it and then explain its meaning. The data should be used to find out what happened in the past, why it happened, what happened in the future, and what needs to be done in this regard. What is the most common data? You can extract recurring patterns from them to be able to identify specific aspects of the data so that you can better understand them. Then you explain the meanings you found in it in order to organize the data in a graph. Third, the graph. Once you have analyzed the information you have found, you are ready to express it in a graph. The most common and used graph is the bar graph, as it clearly shows and compares different categories of information. Example of representing data in a graph. Nesma 1 asked one of her classmates what their favorite gaming device was, and this is the information she got. 1 7 of the students prefer the smartphone. 2 5 of the students prefer the laptop. 2 3 of the students prefer the tablet. Nesma analyzed the data she obtained from the students and represented them in the following graph. We are done with that we are done with this lesson you can solve this question and send to me again good luck and goodbye.